Yes? Uh, I'm looking for a job. Who do I see? Oh, you're Thank out of luck, Jump. Who's won, mate? It's on now. I heard you needed drivers for ballast. You're a ballast driver. I'm any kind of a driver. What difference does it make? That block, first door, half per cartley. Uh, thanks a lot. Must be hungry. Jackie boy, Lucy loves you. Oh, you are not Terry. <laughs> Sorry. See you later, Jackie. Thought you were the boy who was mending my typewriter. I'm looking for Mr. Cartley. Is he expecting you? I'm looking for a job. Mm, you'll be lucky. My name's Yately, Joe Yately. Uh, I met a character called Lagubin. Oh, you know Leggy. How is he? They put a silver plate in his skull. So I, I thought there might be a job going up here. Why, to get a silver plate put in your skull? Leggy said there was good money up here. Well, I'll see what I can do for you. Yes? I heard you needed ballast drivers. You met Lagubin, is that right? Yeah. Did he tell you how much he cost us in compensation? He couldn't handle the loads, not at the speeds we wanted. How long have you been driving? Twelve years. Many accidents? No. You sure? No, look, I told you. License. No endorsements, no convictions for speeding, why not? I guess I was never caught. Name and address of your last employer. I've been out of the country. Where? Around. I want fast drivers. 50 miles an hour touch, right round the clock. What kind of roads? Bad roads, wet or fine. What about the speed limit? That's up to you. If you're caught, you pay your own fine. So if you don't think you can handle 10 tons at that speed, just say so. What's the money? We work a bonus system here. You get seven shillings a load plus four shillings an hour. Over what distances? 10 miles each way. 12 loads a day minimum. Anything under, you're fired. It's a pretty rough pace, isn't it? We've got one man that does 18 runs a day. Well, what about breakdowns? You maintain your own lorry at night. If you have a breakdown, it's your fault. And uh, we'd like you to keep your vehicle clean. There's a bonus each week for the best-looking truck. If you've got one left. You don't like the idea? I like the money. An itchy palm doesn't make a good driver. Needs guts, confidence. You don't inspire me. You're looking for a sucker, aren't you, Mr. Cartley? Lucy? Yes, Mr. Cartley. Phone the shop. Tell it to bring round a spare truck. The usual test run. Yes, Mr. Cartley. Right. You'd better not be wasting my time, that's all. Ed! For you, 
usual. Fights over the run. Roger. Here, what, please? You've driven one of this kind before. I said, have you ever driven one of these before? Yeah, I've, I've been out of circulation for a little while. Right. Hop in. What have you been driving? Oh, this and that. Uh -huh. Well, take a tip. These trucks are light on the trigger. You don't have to fight them the way you're doing. Loosen up a bit. Yeah. Now, here's a corner. Now, don't check. Let her run into it. You're going too fast. No, we're not. We're going dandy. Step on it, boost it around. Well, let her swing, let her go. There you see. Don't work. Didn't you see they faded on me? Well, we stopped, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, maybe they need pulling up a bit. Come on, back up out there, you. Now, uh, back now, uh, straight up. <laughs> Left a bit, a straight up. You see, we get the stuff from that pit wheel. You bring it around on this belt up to the ballast hoppers. This is the three-eighths half-inch hopper. This is the quarter-inch gravel. It's the gravel we use. You know how to work it? No. Nope. Get up there and level it off. The cops like it that way. Blimey, they've let you out today, have they, Ed? Aye, doctor's orders. Now, let me keep your tail down. Come on. OK. From now on, it's the run. I'm timing you. Give her the gun. Doesn't come around so friendly. Now she's loaded, does she? You've got to keep that needle north of 30. 
Every mile you get above that, you can reckon on another sixpence an hour. You drop below it and you're out of a job. Sorry. Don't ease up. Suppose we meet something. Supposing we don't. Look on the bright side. Now keep straight on. Let the road look after itself. Jason Johnny. Well, you didn't have to stop. Come on, get moving. We're losing time. We've got a long way to go yet. What's the matter? Who says anything's the matter? Get forward to it. How did I do? So, so. Didn't get it, eh? Come on, come on. now. Home. How are you drive? Me? I can't. The police took away my license. <laughs> hey! Come here. Come here. Bye-bye. Let's have another look at that license. Yes, Mr. Cartley? Track 13. Make out a logbook. Yes, Mr. Cartley. Where do I start? Le Lucy! Start him tomorrow. Cards, particulars, next of kin. Look after him. Yes, Mr. Cartley. Thanks. Well, aren't you the lucky one? 
last fit I had me wanted. Ed, oh, you needn't have. I put in a good word for you. Yeah? What did you say? Oh, I said you were a friend of mine. Well, why should you do that? Do you always know why you do things? <laughs> Yakely. Joseph. Same address? No. I'm in between addresses now. That's yours. You've got Leggy's old truck, number 13, for luck. Got your cards with you? No, I, I've been away. I lost them. Does Cartley know that? No. Well, we won't tell him. He's got a suspicious mind. I'll try and get you some new ones. Thanks. Got anywhere to sleep? No. Ask at the gate for Ma West. All the boys stay there. I'll do that. Oh, by the way, there's a pull-in across the street where they eat. Yeah? Of course, you might get to know some nice local girl and get invited for supper. Do you like home cooking? Yeah, it's good. If I cook it, it's good. Bye, Joe. Uh, I know this might sound uh, funny, but uh, everybody calls me Tom. Bye, Lucy. So long, Tom. shoelaces together. Hello? Who are you? Never mind. Come in and make yourself useful. Oh, Jill, go away. You're not strong enough. This needs a man's hand. Come on, young fella. Let's see how strong you are. Well, they told me I could get a room here. First things first. Here, get hold of these and pull. Okay. Come on. Right. <laughs> Tighter! Come on, you won't hurt me. Oh, that's it. Oh, steal these, our young fella. Supports Miss Pine. Had an accident. How long do you want the room for? Not quite a while. I've got a job over the road. Good enough. Thank you, Mother, for the groceries. Okay, Ma. Come on, then. I'll show you upstairs. That's the kitchen. When I'm out, the door's locked. Front door's locked at midnight. If you're out after that, you stay out. That's my husband. Died in a fire 20 years ago. There's the bath. That's the other place. No scribbling. Meal as you eat out. And the pulling over the way. Most of the men go there. You can have this one. Good enough for you? Yeah. How much? Three shillings a night, sixpence a bath. Money in advance. Okay. Good. Any clothes you want boiling? There's a basket in the bathroom. I do them myself. Threaten's an article. Thank you, Mr. West. Call me Ma. Okay, Ma. What do I call you? Tom. 
All right, then, Tom. See that you wash the bath out when you finish. Okay. Gina. Got them cheap, too. The only gentleman among the lot of you. Thank you, Gina. No man, sir. <laughs> I'll go and put them in some water. Yeah, do that. Quick. And stop that noise up there! This place is a loony bin. Sure. Where else you put the crazy people? It's okay. What are you doing here? Who are you? Where's my room? Ah, oh, Mamma Mia, you're giving me a fright. <laughs> you just arrived, huh? Yeah. Capito. I come in, you lie there, you say nothing. You uh, have a good laugh, huh? No? You know, there is so much a noise. You hear the noise, huh? This room is empty. I use her for, uh, like a church, you know. Uh, you want to know I should move with these things? Oh, that's okay. Come in when you like. Uh, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you. It's better in here for me. Some people do not understand the... They make a joke, huh? I don't mind, but... Uh, thank you. Uh, you driver with us? Yes, yeah, starting tomorrow. What truck they gave you? Number 13. Lugubins. 13. Not so good. You know, you also have a Lugubins room. Yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, listen. The shell. The shell, she never fall in the same place twice. No, you've got a very good situation here. Uh, what are you called? Tom. To all of the boys, I am Gino, because I'm Italian, you know, but my real name is Emanuelo. Leggy, Legubin, he was my, my special friend. You have friends here? No. Nothing. So. You have met Red? No, I haven't met anyone. He's at the boss. What we call it, the pace setter. He drives like the devil, marvelous. He's got truck number one. 
When you see him coming, you keep it to the side. That is all I tell you, huh? Yeah, I, I passed him on the trial run. He was going like he'd been fired from a rocket or something. That is the one. That is the one. I'm glad that you haven't seen him. No. Our Ed. He's a special friend of yours, too? I hated the sight of him. Come over to eat. Yeah, and they pull in over the road? Yeah, that's right. The girl in the office told me. Ah, that is a Lutzi. <laughs> Funny girl, Lutzi. The boys are like her to make out. She is, uh, what do you call it, um, a hot number. You mean she's not? Ah, Lutzi's like a plenty people. Got to make a big uh, impression, you know, because uh, inside they are um, they're lonely. That is uh, the trouble with girls today. All the time they must uh, fight for something. Fight, fight. You don't like her, huh? I love her. She's uh, my girl. <laughs> Come over. Okay, come on. And I tell you something very special. Lucy, she don't know yet, but when I go back to Italy, she's going to come with me. We're going to have our own bambini. During the war, I am prisoner here, and uh, I like England. I think then I stay forever. But now I think a different. Bella Italia is all I want. That and Lucy. A small place of my own, the sunlight, the blue sky. Ah, the blue sky, huh? Ah. You think she'll go with you? Uh, I pray she will, Caro. I pray she will. Come on, stand there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Hello. New one? Come to join us, have you? Yeah. What's the handle? Tom. Oh, mine's Dusty. There's Tinker. Stinker. Watch it. Barber Joe. Yeah, beautiful bumps. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Wait up. Bob, meet Tom. Hey, Tom. Hello, Tom. Scotty. Hi, Tom. There's a seat going over here. You can sit next to me. Oh, no, no. You can't do that to the guest of honor. You're going to sit right next to me. Yes. You sit here, Tom. Hey, Dusty. The new one always gets to the head of the table. You blab, I'll break your neck. Do what? Look, he's got to learn sometime, ain't he? And this is our little Jill, our little darling. Aye, it's reason good and you get double portions. He's big enough to look after himself. Maybe you're right. Uh, my name's Tub. Where you from, mate? Around. That's up north somewhere, eh? Go on. Can't you tell a good Welshman when you hear one? Cardiff, isn't it, mate? Near there. A place called Blind Sacre. Mm, that's a horrible disease. <laughs> no, he's got the hiccups. <laughs> Give him some water. So you're going to join the L drivers, are you? He's a crack driver, I tell you. He's come to take Red's place. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your coffin ordered, mate? Uh, what made you decide to put an end to it all, eh? He's after the money. He's saving for the blind. Hey, Red! Red! <laughs> the uh, water's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to start anything, Red, or get him to move. Red. Give us it over here, Johnny. As it comes, yeah. nice and warm. Gina. <laughs> Your cigar's gone out. to sit in my place. You have to prove it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's as brave as the rest of you. 
Thought you were gonna see something then, didn't you? Huh? Who's the girl guide, anyway? Who's your new driver? What truck's he got? I don't know. Hey, Tom. What truck you got? He's got the Lugubin's truck. Who asked you, Spaghetti? Nobody asked you, but I'll tell you anyhow. Ah, oh, I get it. Him and you's pals, eh? Well, just watch. He doesn't get in me way out in the run, that's all. Ah. Uh, who gets it? I done 18 runs. Who beats me? Don't look at me. 13's my luck. Minimum 12. Have chicken done it. 15 me. You're still safe. 14. 12. It's lucky to get that. The pressure pumps up the spout. 15, eh? Ah, stinking 14. Hey, Pop, you passed me about a dozen times today. How many runs do you do? Look at him. Blind, deaf, and twice a granddad. Hey, Pop, hmm? how many runs do you do? Oh, uh, 17. Seven. Uh -huh. Hey, Reggie ain't gonna keep that thing much longer. Is a goal to that case. Yeah. Let the new boy have a look at it. Look at that. Isn't that marvelous. Feel the weight of it. Solid gold. Isn't that a beaut? Do more runs than Red in a day, and she's yours. He's the pace setter, see? He keeps us on the ball. That's solid 22 karat gold. It's worth 250 quid. 250 quid. Just think what you could do with that. Hey, boys! Rich over slip! It's anybody's case today! Rich Come over on, slip! Let's go! Get back in, Rich over slip! <laughs>
Pop's trying to beat Red's time. Fine chance he's got. What's he want to give away for? He's only lovely front stove and he'll be off the road for two days. Hey, Red! Hurry up! The sun's fading in paint more! Into supper. No, I'm working on a sick truck. Ah. Jill, have you got some sandwiches for me and Ed? I'll see what there is. Hey, Tom, two guys come a looking for you in the car. They go away. For me? Yeah, my ways. Who are they? What do they look like? I don't know. I don't see them. My West yell upstairs, but you are not there. I see them drive away in a big car from the window. Well, do you know you're doing anything tonight? I waited for a Luzzi now. I'll take her to see the Italian picture at the Playhouse. 
Why, yeah. You like perhaps I should do something for you? No, it's okay. You tell me what you... No, it's okay. You know Chick Keithley? Hi. Hi. Do you know anybody got the case today? The case? <laughs> Fit chance. That's all I want to know. Now listen, Tom. This is a crazy. I see you try to be the red today. Don't do it. You listen to me. Don't try it. So long as you use it as a shortcut, it's not possible. Shortcut? Why don't we all use it? Because we are not pazzo like Ray, that's why. You know the quarry, huh? Yeah. It's a very dangerous to drive fast there. <laughs> if you drive slow, it's no longer a shortcut. Huh? It's a long cut. Huh? Well, you tried it? Yeah, we all tried. Leggy tried. He was the last. We don't go there no more. I see. But, but Red only drives a truck just like you and me. Here you are, Tom. Oh, thanks. Ham and cheese. We've got some chicken in the refrigerator if you'd like. No, this is fine. No coffee? No. Fine. Good night, Tom. Tom, huh? Yeah. Don't try it, huh? You listen to Gino. Jill, you falling for that guy or something? I never saw you smile so sweet since we met. Well, well. Where have you been, on a picnic? Yeah. We, uh, we had champagne. Well, just fancy. And there was I thinking of inviting you for supper. Work. Work? This time of the night? You act as if you're running away from a wife or something. I'm working on a truck. There doesn't always have to be a woman in it. Well, it's usually either that or money, isn't it? Is it? Of course, I may be wrong and I'm willing to learn. Why don't you get in and tell me all about it? I just love life stories. Gina's waiting for you in there, remember? You think I'm flinging myself at you, don't you? You're getting a pretty fair imitation. What else is wrong with me? You want to know? Yeah. Hi, Muscles. Hi, Lucy. Hi, boys. Where are you going? Hey, Lucy. Tom, what are you doing here? Lucy, we got to hurry or we missed the picture. Uh, hey, you want to knock off and come with us? Lucy won't mind. No, I haven't finished the truck. Gino. Huh? I'm going to take that gold cigarette case from Red. You can help me. Tom, I told you, don't do it. Red is pazzo. He don't let anyone take that case. He's only, uh, how you say, uh, a carrot for us donkeys. And I'm a donkey. Tom. Gino. Well, wait a minute. Tom, how long you been driving ballast, huh? You know how long? Echo. Red been driving it for 12 years. He knows all the tricks, and you don't. So you don't want to help me? Tom. All right, uh, I'm uh, with you. <laughs> but what do you want me to do? I'll tell you tomorrow morning. Thanks, Gina. Enjoy the picture. Is it like, uh, like poison in the blood of this thing? They all get it. I will try to see he don't get hurt. He's a nice boy, huh? You like him? He's all right. He's my friend. You must be nice to him. Oh, Carissima, you look so... Uh, you look so pretty tonight. Come. I drive. Move over. Gino, I don't feel like a film tonight, especially one of those foreign ones. Oh, no? Oh, is it too bad? Is it the last night for it? Huh. I don't get a much chance to uh, hear my own people talking. Hey, Johnny, come on, hurry up. Where are we going? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go somewhere and have a drink, huh? All right, whatever you say. Yeah, we go and uh, we talk, huh? Uh, you don't know yet, but uh, I think I got a surprise for you about uh, you and me. 
Tonight, I tell you. Uh, Gina, if you really want to go and see the picture. You changing your mind again? Let's go and see the picture. Whatever you say, Carissima. Yeah, Harry. Come on, shake it up. Anybody think you're fond of work? <laughs>
That's how it's gonna be, huh? Gino, you all right? Uh-huh. What happened? Ooh. Gino, what's the matter with your leg? Ooh. It's just a shake up. It don't matter, I tell you. Get on, go on. You got a toe chain? I got one. Thanks, Fred. How much is that? Seventeen shillings, Miss Lucy. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Tom. Could you lend me a couple of bob until tomorrow? I'm short. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I, uh, I see on the progress report that you didn't break any records today. Oh, Gino ran up the road. I had to help him. Oh, is he all right? Oh, I guess so. He's gone to bed. He doesn't feel too good. Oh, does he need anything? No, I don't think so. He heard his leg got shaken up. He wants to sleep it off. Oh, dear. That means he won't be taking me to the dance tonight. No, oh, it's too bad. Very selfish of him. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. What way did you mean it? You know, you've got a nasty habit. Yeah, I've got lots of them. Which one are you talking about? I could like you if Look, only... nobody's asking you to like me. You're Gino's girl. Ever thought of asking me that? Look, Gino's my pal. You're not pulling this kind of thing on him. Not with me, you're not. Don't talk to me like that. Gino's my friend, too, and I'll a treat good him friend, like one. and that's all. You know, the way you act, anyone will think you're the only girl in this town. I'll give you some facts. <laughs> Is that right? You've done 17 runs today? Yeah. That's pretty close, eh, Red? Ah, well, what about it? Pop's done better than that, driving solo. If, uh, you and Spaghetti try any more of them stock tactics on me, I'll show you a thing or two you haven't even heard about. The trouble is, when I teach them, it's the, it's the hard way. Maybe afterwards you won't be in any condition to use them. You understand me? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, where is old Spaghetti anyway? He's in bed. Somebody sideswept him today. Oh, that's what you two was doing in that ploughed field, is it? <laughs> Thought you'd stop to have a kip. If you saw us, why didn't you give us a hand? Our job's ballast, not break towns. The recovery people don't like it either. If they heard what you did today, you'd wake up wearing their footprints. Oh, is somebody gonna write to nobody? Huh? I said there's somebody gonna. All right, I heard you. What you trying to do? Be funny. You know? I don't like your attitude. You got a chip on your shoulder. 
You think so? Yeah. If I was to knock it off, your head might go with it. Well, I'm the last man who want to walk around without a head. Huh? <laughs> That's better. Here, now, get a hold of this, will you? I, I've got two jobs here, see? I'm the pace setter and the road foreman. That means I'll be watching you from two directions at once. To beat you on the road and to beat you down when you get out of line. I'm not looking for trouble. Unless I'm pushed. Even if you're pushed. <laughs> hey, Tom! Over here, Red. You going to the dance tonight, Tom? Yeah, I was just going to ask you. We're all going in Johnny's car after you've finished eating. Do you like my skirt? Yeah, sensational. Jill! I don't chance. My dance. Oh, but I can't. Shall we set this one up? Yes, dear. <laughs> Then you're not busy. Excuse me, Sonny. Remember me last week? No. I'll remind you. You're not married, are you? No. Are you? Silly. I like you. You're real dry. She was coming with Gina, Lucy. Jill, I'm gonna dance. Oh, you kids go ahead and dance. Don't mind poor little me. Lucy, Lucy, dance with me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fun? 
Yeah, fine. And you? So, so. There's a big brood I want to dance with, and he won't ask me. It's too bad. What are you trying to prove? That you're somebody's best friend? Now, look. Why don't you get it into your thick skull that I'm not anybody's girl and I'm not married? <laughs> Gino's a sweet guy. He's in a strange country. I was just trying to be nice to him. Do I have to suffer for that? If you don't like it, that's your problem. I don't want to be the one that puts him out, that's all. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance. I I'm waiting for Tom. On second thoughts, I think I will. I just can't imagine what's happened to my boyfriend. I sent him for a bottle of Coke about half an hour ago. Perhaps he thought you said bucket of Coke. You're very humorous. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, don't tell me you don't feel the same way as I do. What are you trying to do? I'm human too, you know. It's unfair. If, if two people feel the same way about each other, what's wrong with admitting it? I suppose you're the type who'd like to see two men shooting it out of you. <laughs> as long as you win. Oh, Tom, I don't know what it is. It's not going to work, Lucy. You don't know anything about me. I know. I just love finding out. No, I'm not kidding. This is a nerve test. Really? A test for steady nerves, oh. steady hands. Now, you know, you'll never drive a truck if you can't hold these like this. Oh. Oh, you're not going to burn me. No, no. Oh, okay. no, no, steady. No, no, no. <laughs> now, this is where it comes very important. Keep You've got to hold still up. now. No. Are you ready? Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, Bean. What about Bean? I was told my old man wanted to see me in the pub opposite. Wasn't he there? No, he wasn't, so I looked in all the pubs just to make sure. That's funny. Must have been some other bill I was told to look for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you invented the whole story so you could walk off with my girl. That's right. You've had a good drink now, insult me. A man in my position taking care of your girl. You're lucky I didn't charge up any time. <laughs> Peace work, <laughs> rates. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. Not this time. Look, I said excuse me once. Do you mind? Right, uh, somewhere we won't fall over yet. I said let go. She's my girl and I was dancing with her. Now, look, boy, steady. This is only a joke. Don't get robbed. Why don't you buzz off? We let you truck drivers use our hall, and all you do is muck up our evening. Yeah. Ask anyone here. They tell you the same thing. We're sick and tired of the lot of you. Hey, Red. Yeah? There's a bloke here says him and his mates are sick and tired of the lot of us. Uh, ask him what he's going to do about it. Hey, Tom, Scotty, Johnny, come on. Yeah. Now then, Red, no trouble. No trouble, please. <laughs> <laughs> You get struck in, come on! Hey! Come back, yellow belly! Come back, you! Hey! Come back, yellow belly!
we all get naked Lame. except him. Come away from that door. Like it's between us and Yellow. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, beat him up. Yeah, just come back to bed, will you? Get back to your room this minute. Your daughter will lay you with smokers. All right. Don't worry. We'll be seeing you. All right, Yellow Penny. Get up, Mara. You were out. Where have you been? <laughs> what do you mean? Did you read my letters? Letters? What letters? How's Mum? I, I thought I'd try to get you while she was in church. Oh, Tom. Mum wouldn't keep your letters from me? Jimmy, the shop looks good. How's business? You know this neighborhood, Tom? We've been paying our way. So far. <laughs> Any of the boys still come around, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. For cigarettes, you know. How are the legs, kid? Just the same, Tom. Oh, excuse me, Tom. Morning, Mrs. Lipton. What'll it be? Good morning, Jimmy. I want a pound of sausages. Myrtle's bringing our young man to dinner, so I've got to make the Sunday roast stretch a bit. <laughs> Anything else? No, thank you. That'll be three shillings, please, Mrs. Lipton. Oh, dear, up again, aren't they? Oh, well, maybe Myrtle will be off our hands before long. Then we'll meet your mother. I will. Bye, Bye Mrs. Lipton. Thank you. Was it inside, Tom? Oh, bad, Jimmy. I can't ever let that happen to me again. I, I can't be tied down. I know what you mean. You kill me, Jimmy, knowing what I did to you. It was an accident. I never blamed you. Yeah. It, it's more than just making it up to you, Jimmy. I gotta make the grade for once. The right way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, Tom. Well, I took a job. <laughs> what are you doing? Driving. Driving again? <laughs> Not what you think. Listen, Jimmy, it's tough when you come out. There's only the lousiest jobs for no money, and, and nobody wants you. Well, I took this one. Well, as long as you're behind the wheel, you can go anywhere. I'm driving ballast, Jimmy. It's tough, but, well, it's good money. There's even a little solid gold bonus waiting for me at the end of it. Jimmy, look, I want you to have this. It's not much, but I've only been working no. a couple of weeks. No, so Tom, I can't. I take can't it, take it. No, please, I. What's that? Come on, take it easy. Tom's just trying to help us. Take it back. Why should I? It's Jimmy's money. I gave it to him. I make the money that comes into this house, and I make it honest and with the sweat of my brow. Maybe it's not much, but what there is is clean. Well, this is clean, too. Oh, look, 
Mom, we've got to have a talk. Nothing you ever touched was clean. Ma, Tom's trying to help us. He's got an honest job. I He's don't believe it. Let him finish. Will you let him finish? Look, Mom, you've got to forget the past. It's not past. It's here all the time. I live with it. For you, it was just a year in jail. For Jim and me, it's a life sentence. Him stuck in the shop all day, never going out. I know all that, Mom. Tom. Look, Mom, I'm only trying to put things right. I'm not going to make you see. I'm not listening. Tom. Mom. Please give him a chance. You and him. Always the same. He led, you followed. I wish you were still in sight. Oh, Mum, no. All right, Mum. You don't have to draw a picture. Don't worry, kid. Maybe it'll work out. Waiting for yellow belly.
18 today. Who gets it? Not me. Not me. No. No, 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 no. no good. Here, Gus Fossier wants. G. Redman, 18. Fill this out, Red, please. J. Yateley, 18. 18? Yeah. Aye, aye. Yes, he went over the quarry today. I saw him. He's break. Oh, another brave one, eh? Mm. E. Rossi, 14. See you tonight. <laughs> miracle, magnifico. How you do this thing, Tom? It's a miracle. Yeah. It's a miracle somebody didn't get killed. Now, Tom, today you proved to me that you are a great driver. I know you can beat Red, but everybody is against you. If you had a clear road, bah. Yeah, if I had a clear road. Tom, the money, tomorrow, I see you get it. Oh, we will change plates. Huh? You take my number plate, says number three. I put your number 13 on my track. Then for me, the boys make all the trouble. For you, there is a the clear road. You like Gino's idea? Uh, you, you, you be number three. Yeah, but Gio... No, but. After, finito, finish here. You go north, look for a good job. I go south. You take the gold case, I take a Luzzi. Va bene? Va bene. Something stinks around here, don't it? Maybe you ought to change it yourself. Ah, uh, quick as a whip, ain't we? As a whip, you mean? <laughs> Watch your tongue, Scotch boy. Oh, dear, dear, we're getting tough, eh? Yeah, tough as macaroni. Did <laughs> hey, you know something's wrong here? Huh? 24 pound deduction. What advance you take? Four. Five attacks. Five. No, it's wrong, this. We see about it. Pause off. There's other fellas waiting to get paid. He's got all he's going to get. No, no, it's not got all. There's been a mistake. There's no mistake. What do you know about it? You, I'm talking to you. I'm uh, not talking to the yellow belly. If he wants to find out why his pay was stopped, ask Ed. Ed? Yeah, his stuff he wrecked. Who put this on Tom? Uh, you mean on Yellow Belly? Me. I'm the road foreman. Yeah. And that's not all you are. What else am I? You scum. Take 
like animals. Gibson, why didn't you stop them? Well, you see, no. I... Uh... You'll pay for this damage, both of you. Got your pay, get out. Go on, get out, all of you. Once more and it'll be for good. As for you, you're a foreman. You're supposed to keep discipline. I may be a foreman, but I'm not a prison warden. I think I don't know. You just done a spell. How can I keep discipline if we're hiring convicts? All right, you know. Well, what are you going to do about it? Is there nothing to do with us, sir? He already paid once for what he done. He told me. Well, I'll have to check with Mr. Cartley in the morning. Thanks. Right. Come on, Red. Come on, I'm hungry. You better come and lie down. Huh? No, I gotta work. Now, this looks bad. You better come and get cleaned up anyway. All right, Red? He need me. Yeah. You saw what happened. Sure. Otherwise, I'd have killed him. What do you want? I hear you're eating in the village by yourself these days. How's that? I like it that way. I heard what they're saying. Is it true? Yeah. It's true. But I wasn't framed and nobody talked me into anything. And the judge didn't give me a raw deal. Happy? You still have an invitation to eat at my place. Where's Gino? We're through. What have you done to him? I told him the truth. I told him I liked him, but I'm not in love with him. And I never was. You have no right to do that. Whose right is it?
Do you know? You know, I want to talk to you. London, one way. The early's gone, mate. That was it. 9.35, the next. All right, let's have it. Don't you Caddicks as ever say please? Yeah. Listen, Jimmy, if uh, Topper or Mac or any of the boys come around, tell them to get in touch with Sammy O'Day. Sammy O'Day? Are, are you sure you... Leave me alone, Jimmy. I know what I'm doing. Tell Sammy I'll be around at Harry's place about... about three o'clock, all right? Okay, Tom. Whatever you say. Okay, Jimmy, boy. <laughs> Thank God, I've been searching everywhere. Marwa said she thought you'd Go away, I'm leaving. You don't understand, it's Gino. Will you leave me alone? It's Gino. His truck hit a tree and caught fire, and he's very badly burnt. What? You've got to come to the hospital right away. Oh. Please. What are they doing in there? Why don't they ever tell you something? Maybe, maybe I ought to go. Maybe seeing me will just upset him. No, this you. Look, you've got to go in and see him, and you've got to tell him what I told you to tell him. Yes, all right. I'll do whatever you want me to. But, but you've got to stop blaming us. At least yourself. What happened? I what know happened? what happened. You don't know everything. Tom, listen. This setup is a racket. Cartleys and Reds. They don't care how many of you it kills as long as they can split their extra 200 every week. Why do you think they specialize in hiring drifters like you and Gino who let themselves be hustled for money? But how do they make that kind of money? We get good pay. Not all of it. Tom, listen. The head office pays basic salary for five more drivers than Cartley runs. Red pays as a shorthand crew to meet the contract. The cash for five drivers never even reaches our pay window. Did you tell Gino about this? Look, are you sure about... He's a friend of his doctor. You can see him. Oh. Oh. How is he, Doc? If you've got anything to say to him, you better say it now.
It's Lucy, sweet. Lucy and Tom. Amigo. I, w I was leaving when, when I heard what happened. I was on the railway station, wasn't I, Lucy? Yes. Gina, it was you she wanted. All the time. She's your girl, you know. You, you tell him, Lucy. No. No. You're right for each other. Be happy together. Oh, Tama. Tama, you take care of my Lucia. And one day, you, you take her to Italy. Huh? Va bene? No, Gino. You... Tama, I drew them off like we plan for it. For you to win. Crazy. You don't even come. You... You changed the number plates? They, they thought you were me. I was number 13. Who was it, Gino? Was it red? Just wait outside a moment, will you, please? The... Oh. oh, my... Get a company truck and get out there right away. Right off or no right off. Should be good for some spares. Okay. Cooper? Yeah. Isn't this red truck? What's he doing in? Oh, I refuel. He's losing it somewhere. I'll fix it tonight. All right. He'll be out in a minute. Lucy! What are you doing in here? Get off my desk. Gino's dead. Oh, that's bad luck. You... You have to kill him, Godly. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I think you'd better get out before you say something you might regret. About the money you and Red been grabbing by running us shorthanded? I know all about it. Oh. You do now. I see. Well, if you know so much, why don't you go and report it somewhere? Because that way you'd only get nicked. And that's too good for you, Cartley. Why, you cheap lag. You think that I don't know that you've been driving without a license? How long do you think you'll stay out with your record? Then we'll do time together. And I'm used to it. I'm giving you a week to pay, Cartley. One week. Now listen, where are you going? You want loads, Cartley, you'll get them. But from now on, we're getting all the money that's coming to us. Every penny of it. Listen, Yateley! Now listen, wait a minute, damn you. Now look here. You're a clever boy in the grand drive, but I've seen it all along. 
I can get you a corner on this. It'll double your wages. A lot better than a bonus. Tom, this. Listen, Tom. I can make things much easier for you here. Okay. And I'll take over number one. It's better than the junk you gave me. All right, all right. If you want it that way, it can be arranged. But let's talk about it first. No, Cartley. I don't want you and Red for partners. You're not my type. Oh, now you're being unreasonable. And tell Red I'm after him. Tell him I haven't any proof yet that he smashed Gino. But one day he'll show his hand. And I'll smash him. <laughs> What's that rat doing on my truck? Why don't you stop him? Stop him? Huh. He knows. That slut must have told him. He's taken your job and your truck. He says he's going to get you for killing Rossi. Yes, sir. Rossi's dead? Rossi's dead, yes. And we're in big trouble. You better get after him quick, now. There's number three. How about you? I'll back you up. Well, uh, you're coming with me. I want a witness in case anything goes wrong. I'm sick of taking all the risks. Now, don't be a fool. No, I said you're coming. That means you're coming. Red, red. All right. Pit. And where does he go after that? Well, what are you doing, my number one? I am number one. He's taking it slow. Tom came in with your jeep. Is he in the office? No, he went back out on the run. I think he's in for it, too. He took number one truck. What? Red and Mr. Cartley got after him in number three. Oh, no. Open the gate, Harry. This is cold blood. It's murder. And I don't want any part of it! Let me get out of here! Oh, shit. Sit tight. Sit tight. Oh. 